I was born uh, in Brooklyn, New York. It was out by the sea in a section called Seagate. And I went to James Madison High. I guess I have a hard time hiding my feelings. And so it became a very apparent to my mother. And my mother and I were talking and brushing our teeth and my mother was questioning my connection with somebody. You know, I was still in high school, so mm -hmm. I was a senior by that time, but obviously still living at home. And my mother was holding a bottle when we were talking and um, I and she was asking all these questions and I finally said, Are you asking whether I'm a lesbian? And she said, Well, I guess I am. And I said, Well, I guess I need to tell you I am. And this bottle dropped out of her hand and fell into the toilet bowl and made a terrible sound. The woman lives an authentic life. She came out as a lesbian many, many years ago, and she, I, 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 once, I once thought, I, 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 I had the idea she was a fierce uh, supporter of the gay community, and that's just not right. She's not a fierce supporter of the gay community. She is an authentic, real, genuine supporter. When Diane came out into our community and connected with Claudia Bradshaw, she, full guns, she became the president of the Stonewall Democrats. Um, she worked with Claudia with PFLAG. She participated and became a sponsor with Pride. Um, and she made it very clear that she had disposable income that she could assist us in ways that we hadn't been assisted before. And I got a notice one day in the mail that somebody named Claudia Bradshaw was going to be coming down here. She was going to be talking at a restaurant and she was going to be talking about the gay and lesbian community. And it was the very first time after living here that I had seen or heard one word about lesbian and gay. So I immediately called her, introduced myself on the telephone, asked her if I could take her to lunch. So I did. And I asked her, are you a lesbian? And she told me, you know, and I just, I was thrilled to find her. <laughs> I was thrilled to find her. Cause and you've helped immensely to help PFLAG and help so that we can educate people here in this area. When I think of Diane Bernard, I think of this word authentic. She's never known anything other than being herself. I don't know how to be in. I mean, that's the honest truth. I, I, I don't know how, I mean, I, I don't ever want to make a big issue of it. I don't, I don't run around and saying, hi, my name is Diane Bernard and I'm a lesbian. I mean, I don't make a big deal about it. But I, I don't make any effort to pretend otherwise. I don't think it's, it's bad for people who are struggling with that, this identity to meet somebody who's in their 80s and has led the kind of life I've led. You know, I've been very successful. I've been a university professor. I've had the opportunity to be in chairs. I've done good things with my life. And I think it's not bad for somebody to see that. I mean, if I was going to pretend about being something other than I am, what good would that do? It's much easier and better to be who I am than to try to be somebody else.